Hi friends. This little guy is the closest figure I've got to uh, emptiness <clears throat> and he just seemed appealing today. So that's what I'm wearing. Instead of my DNA skin suit, I'm wearing Stickman. Yay! Nice to have options, huh? Even if it's just pretend. And who knows, maybe one day we'll find out our DNA skin suit is kind of a pretend thing, too. Seems mighty real, though. I mean, compared to the stick man. Anywho, so, what comes forward today? Well, I've been playing with mind lately, and I can't say it's been a wonderful experience. Although, everything that comes up, you know, as we learn to embrace it and uh, trust that it has something for us, um, you know, it's kind of hard to hug a porcupine. Sometimes you get a few quills, but I don't know. I just, uh, I have this funny belief that everything, absolutely everything without exception is for the best. So, going forward with that, what has been my experience with mind? Well, I was reminded how mind kind of makes things justify themselves. They have to be sensible. They have to pass mind's test uh, uh, or evaluation. Uh, mind likes things logical and orderly and making some good points. And, uh, you know, come on, I spent some time in college. I'm familiar with that. But uh, back then I thought I was the mind. And now, when I encounter mind, it's a very different experience because I know I'm not that. Um, and it kind of came to uh, what brought it on was having uh, a deep discussion, um, the best that we could do between myself and someone who was on more of a mental path, you know, I mean, all paths have heart to some extent. If it's a path, if it's calling you, if it's calling you truly, you know, by my definition, it has heart. And if that path employs mind, well, so be it. And there are, are many fine, marvelous things that can come forward, uh, divine things via the mind. And so just in case I've left anyone with the impression that mind is bad, or negative, or somewhat, somehow less than heart. Um, I don't mean to say that. For my path, heart is preferable to mind. And so it's not a matter of judging. See, mind judges good, better, and best. That's a judgment. That's a mind thing. I don't find that in heart. Uh, and so what I'll say instead is something is preferable, but that situation specific, isn't it? That is specific to a certain perspective. And so there will be other perspectives where mind will be preferable to heart. And I acknowledge that. And I even bow before that. Uh, whatever each one's path is, uh, that's important. And nobody else's path has really anything to do with that. We use the most powerful thing we have, which is free will and choice. I mean, how else uh, can we declare our sovereignty except by the choices we make? And so our choices, even our non-choices, you know, where we just decide we're not going to choose, and that's a choice too. And I think deep inside, we all know that. And so it is by our choice that each one carves out your own path. And the beauty of this is as frequencies are rising here and as we're integrating more with, oh boy, there goes my software flipping around. Well, if you see me through the picture, you'll see why I want to use an avatar to speak with you. Not in my best form. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just a form. Uh, so where was I? Uh, we, we use our free will and choice 
And that's how we grow. And if we choose not to use them, well, that's kind of a sad thing. And maybe that's a symptom of being hypnotized and programmed and all that kind of thing. Because there are beings in other dimensions that uh, use us as play toys for whatever reason. I don't know. You know, I think once we truly become one with any being anywhere, only then can we have some real understanding. It's, it's the old walk a mile in my moccasins thing. And for myself, being a heart-based person, I find it important not to judge. If we understood, hey, if we were in their shoes, what do you think? You think maybe we'd be doing the same thing they're doing? I think it's more than possible. And so all the sticks and stones we throw, how about we just lay those down a while? Let's, take, let's give it a break. Let's give all this judging a break. Because I'll tell you what, no matter what kind of path you're on, everyone has heart. And there are consistencies about being in heart. Just like there are consistencies about being in mind. Or we couldn't talk about it, huh? And one of the things about heart is you'll know you're truly in there when you find no judgment within you. It's not that the mind doesn't judge. You're not in the mind. The mind's not a part of that conversation. And so it's possible for everybody, no, no matter what your path is, to take a break from the mind, to settle into the, into the center of the chest some way, just get out of the head focus or perspective. And uh, if we go deep within, we can find that place or that space where there's no judgment. And I guess I'll say that's one of the keynotes. That's one of the indicators that you're in heart. When you look at something or someone, uh, even someone who's wronged you, uh, don't take the, the really, really terrible things. Look at the simple things first, the easier things. Uh, you know, you don't uh, take tackle Mount Everest as your first uh, rock climbing experience, you know. Oh, there it goes again. Anyway, whatever. So, look at some something or someone that hurt or distressed you in some way from heart. Be in heart first. And see if you can find judgment inside of you. Or see if instead what you find is understanding. Or a desire to understand. A desire to see from that one's perspective. That's what that is. You know, flexible perspective. Well... I'm always touching down with that, and it seems when I do, it's in heart. So I take it to be a property of heart. And so heart has no judgment. And I think, and see, I was just going to say, I think what's wrong with the world is fill in the blank. Well, isn't that a judgment? I don't know. Have to be careful. Because we don't become mind-dead robots just because we're in heart. And that's where the watch and observe thing comes in. It pays to just be alert. And uh, like my friend Daniel says, that means be in the present moment. Be really, really present with that. How else can you observe? If you let memory in, or if you're off in the future some way, you're not fully present. You, you might be much more focused than most people even, but to be fully in the now, there's no past or future in it, it's just now. And though you can have a look at what the mind might consider to be the future, it's different. It doesn't look like that, it doesn't work like that. So any Anywho, anyhow, uh, where am I with this? I was sharing what it was like to be encountering, contacting mind. And I found it awkward and uncomfortable. I found that even my own mind had a tendency to judge the heart. Yeah. 
I found as I sat here before turning the camera on, just looking at it, that mind was in, in its regular judgment mode and it was looking and it was wondering, well, what are you going to say? What sense will it make? And looking down on with a certain disdain, just letting heart flow. You see, to mind, that's not good enough. That might uh, come out with something mind doesn't approve of. That was a really interesting encounter. I spent some time with it. Just getting the full feel of it, not running away. No sense running from anything. If something comes up for you, sometimes it's just for you to look at it and say, not me, not mine, or no thanks. But not necessarily. It might be something. Um, even if it's something unpleasant, it might be something that's a gift, that holds a gift for you, if you'll just have a look at it. So, being in heart, you don't really have to make these decisions. They kind of make themselves, and you're along for the ride. Hard to explain, but people that have been in heart or in this kind of flow, whatever you call it, um, feel free to comment me if you have a better way of expressing this, because it has nothing to do with the physical heart or even the heart chakra. I just call it heart because it's kind of in the center of the chest. I don't see hearts and flowers and things when I go in there. It's, it's just not that at all. It's kind of other dimensional in a way. I mean, it's different. Um, going within says the same thing to me. But if you find a better way to say it, feel free to comment me, you know. I love being able to improve things. And I take all comments that come, and I appreciate the ones that, that are even seemingly negative, because often I gain something from that. And my heart knows if there's something in it for me, or if some somebody's just venting their spleen, as it were, and... That's okay, you know, just so you don't get too rude and nasty. That's fine. I'll let it stand. Heart knows. Heart just knows. It's a different space to be in. And in a way, in some crazy way, your head's in there too. Only it's not in head mode. It's not in driver's seat mode. And I don't really have words for it. I don't yet understand and, you know, hearts like that. Mine doesn't appreciate it. Mine wants to tackle things and get to the bottom of it and figure it out and get a nice, neat, orderly, one, two, three, ABC kind of presentation and master it. That's just how mind is, but heart's not like that. It's kind of like the really deep, deep... Um, bliss that can come upon you in the middle of who knows what, that's not something you chose. You didn't sit down and say, okay, I'm going to go into bliss now. One, two, three, ohm. I mean, we don't get to choose. So there are things that are out of our conscious control. And you make peace with that, which is much easier to do when you're centered down deep. Okay, anyway, the outcome, as you see, was for me to say thank you, mine, goodbye, and drop down into heart, and just let fly. Because you see, when you're in heart, another way you can test it is uh, mine cannot come in and take control of that. The flow gets going, and mind has nothing to do with it. Because it's not, it's, it just doesn't have anything to do with mind, the origin of it. How it comes out, sure, you know, mind is involved in knowing the words and the syntax and the sentences and all that kind of thing. So mind is being used, but definitely not in charge of what's being said. And there's no way to stay in your mind and understand this. It's something you have to experience. And I still say, this experience is available to everyone, whatever your path. You don't have to be on a heart path. So, see you later.
Have a good day.